I'm the manager of humanities curriculum for the district. I want to talk about the literacy task force. Um, I want to start with the question really, why literacy? Why the need for a literacy task force? Um, there's a quote that I like, which is, we don't have a discipline or a dropout problem. We have a literacy problem. So when you really look at um, our literacy rates, there's a direct correlation between our literacy rates and the dropout rates. There's a direct correlation between literacy rates and life expectancy direct correlation between literacy rates and incarceration. So in Oakland, literacy is really a social justice issue and the need to bring the communities together around a focus on literacy is essential. When we think about a traditional definition of literacy, we think about reading, writing, speaking, and listening in order to communicate in an increasingly complex society. So all of us learn to read, we learn to write, we learn to speak, and listen within the context of our cultures. Now we add to that the information age, and there's an increasingly high demand in terms of literacy because of the information age. So we add media and technology, Twitter, Facebook. All of us know from our children and the young ones in our lives that they have ways to communicate that baffle us. So when we, when we take it down to the um, task force level, we need to really bring the community voice into that. The elder the grandparents, the teachers, the students. Um, so we, we've done some outreach in terms of reaching the student population to participate in the task force meetings. We have stakeholder meetings throughout the year. We have members from higher education on the literacy task force. We have community members, we have teachers, and we have parents. Um, in terms of thinking just globally around literacy right now, what we're doing is we're going to be creating a literacy framework for the Oakland School Unified School District for pre-K through 12. So to guide literacy instruction across the different content areas through kindergarten to pre-K through grade 12. Um, the framework itself will provide the guiding principles to increase the literacy levels of our multilingual student population. Um, we talked earlier this morning about the needs of our different constituencies, so it's very essential that we have that kind of representation on our task force, and we've done outreach in order to ensure that we do. Um, we're currently researching balanced literacy frameworks. Um, Director Spearman talked about seeing models from across the nation. Um, we've looked at the, the DC frameworks and the Boston and Chicago frameworks in particular, and are drawing from those. Um, we have draft a literacy framework, which in, at our next task force meeting in January, we will have stakeholder feedback on that framework. Um, eventually, what we'll be doing is actually aligning our core curriculum with this literacy framework. Some of the major questions we're exploring is what are the elements of the literacy framework that need to be present to transform and guide teacher practice to increase the achievement of African American students and English learners in Oakland? Um, how will our approach to literacy instruction move us toward college and career readiness? And again, as Jeannie mentioned, how can the literacy framework guide us to move from just a textbook-based approach to instruction to um, providing high-quality, effective instruction that specifically integrates technology and media in terms of literacy experiences while still satisfying the requirements of the Williams legislation? So it's not that we want to throw away just a, our, our textbooks, but we, we want to have them and also have rich literacy experiences. Um, our, as I mentioned, our, our participation draws from members of the community, specifically around the special education population and our, our, our plan for significant disproportionality, addressing significant disproportionality. We are looking at developing literacy practices in schools that specifically target African American students from the pre-K level all the way through the 12th grade level. Um, finally, I, I just want to end with um, another, another frame, which is really thinking about the literacy demands of the 21st century. We talk about 21st century skills. Um, increasingly, 
the demands require our, our students to be critical thinkers, collaborators, to communicate effectively, and to be creative. So our key really is to expand our definition of literacy, move away of, from thinking that we just need to teach students how to read in pre-K through third grade. We need to teach students how to read throughout their educational career, pre-K through 12, in, based on the increasingly complex demands of our information age. Good morning, we're 